what is going on everybody back with another one the ring collective is the name of the channel and we're gonna hop right into it look I've done a few videos already more than three four videos stressing the importance of not wasting time stressing the point of look yes we plan we plan we plan but with no action what does it matter and you have to look at it like this I got this from a while back. If you don't know 48 Laws of Power, Robert Greene, you need to go read that book. But one of the points, one of the laws was embrace your mortality, right? And mind you, when I read that book back in the day, I was just like, what are we talking about? I didn't really understand what that meant. You know, until you get older and, you know, you start losing people to like sickness or to violence and things like that. And then it truly hits you when you understand embrace and understand your mortality and you have to bring it to the forefront a lot of people are afraid of the fact like look you know we're all going to be gone soon not soon but others sooner than later but the whole point is we all are going to be out of this earth and going on to the next iteration of what whatever life is so a lot of people want to put that in the back burner and think like look we sh this is just going to go on. Like, I remember when I was 23, 22, I thought I was going to be 22 forever. I thought I was going to be in my 20s forever. You know, when I realized I think certain people are going to be in my life forever, you realize, like, that's not the case. You know, things, you know, life is interesting. You might got got dealt that wrong hand, and boom, now you got cancer. And you got a couple weeks to live. You know, I've had people who has lost their life to violence and all sorts of things. So it puts it really puts things in perspective about understanding and appreciating the time we have here. And I know for me, some of the things that I immediately checked with myself was the humility aspect. I'm more definitely more grateful of the smaller things. You know, like I think we go through so many different things in life, you know, things that we perceive as negative and we forget to appreciate well what we do have and i'm sure trust me i've been in the position it's harder to say it when you're going through it than when you've overcome it and you look at it in retrospect right but one thing i can definitely say and trust me i'm going through i've gone through everything under the sun you still have to always look at be great grateful and have the gratitude behind it and still appreciate you know, the things that you do have control of or you do have memories of. Like, look, I lost my mother to cancer and in right in the, in the beginning of COVID and just juggling all these different things. And yes, I'm mourning, suffering, hurting, pain all the time. But something that I can do and something that it's, it's forced me to do with that dealing with it is I'm grateful I, I have the memories. I'm grateful, you know, I was able to spend pretty much the last bit of time on this earth that she had i was there and i do have a ton of memories just because we were tight and i can appreciate that and i can hold that and i'm super grateful for that as opposed to not having it for whatever reason right and it's taught me that even if you're having like look the worst day you know and we're this is like a we talk about business on here too you know you're in a position where you want to do better you want to grow the business or you're in a job that you hate, but you're stri But on the weekends, you're focusing on doing your own thing and becoming self-employed and juggling those two. It's tough. People around you don't believe. Some of the closest people to you, you would think they would have support for you, and they don't. That in that very moment, you have to be grateful for what you have accomplished and the steps you have made to get to the point that you are at now. You're being diligent and even starting. Most people who want to go into business for themselves or anything like that, yeah. You'll see every little, you know, meme and motivational post saved, but there's no action behind it. There's no implementation, right? It's just a bunch of bunch of smoke, really. So when you look at it like that, and then you can start making your moves to say, okay, it's gonna be tough. I'm, I know I'm gonna have my my days where it's just not I'm not feeling it, but I can plan. Okay, I want to be here in a month right i can have my my short goals my short term goals to the bigger goal that can keep me inspired and keep me motivated right and for me one of the major things i don't waste time at all any more like i make it very clear of how important my time is someone else's time is that i'm working with dealing with so i am i put 
time and just your your schedule and your day and things you have to do, I make that a priority not to waste your time and waste your energy and waste planning on things that you could be doing something else with. So I'm really big on that. So a lot of things and decisions I make, yes, I plan it out. I see, okay, how can we make this work? But I'm not going to wait to to feel it's like, okay, it's the right time now. Now we can go. Now we can get it. Like everything is set. It's A lot of times I'm jumping without the parachute, you know, and having the faith and having the belief and having just that total confidence that, look, there's going to be a way. The parachute's going to come out, you know, before we hit this floor. And I'll be honest, more times than not, that's exactly what happened. Because the other side of that was I would just wish, 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 plan, 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 no action. Wish, 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 plan, 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 get started a little bit, have a setback, and then forget about it. If you knew that your time on this earth was limited, which it is, you know, we all have a clock, but if you knew that clock was a little bit shorter or it's going, it's going a little bit faster than you would think, what, would, what things would you change? What things would you do differently? You know, things that you are striving for or working for, how would you go about it now? You know, your time, how would you, you choose things to do in your time? People that you're with, things that you're doing in, in that a lot of time of your day. What would be different? I, I had to look at everything in a completely different lens. Once I really truly embrace, look, I'm not going to be here forever. We're not going to be here forever. So while we are here, we don't want to get to a certain point where it's about shoulda, coulda, woulda. I wish I'd have done this. I'd rather have the... I would never want to have the regret of doing of not doing something. I'd rather just have the jokes about that. I tried so many different things and I failed at a bunch of them. It was crazy. We got funny stories, but look what did work. So embrace it. Think about it. I think about it every day. I think about it when I get up, you know, and that creates the gratitude and that creates the humility for my day. That's why I get up so early a lot of times too. It's like I need to just get up and i'm big on the affirmations and just big on just that positive energy just starting the day off that's why i like to start it off the day with the workout you know because whatever issue or stress that is still lingering listen by the time i'm in the fifth set tenth set of of squats a lot of that is out the window the answer is already coming to me and i'm ready to rock and roll you know to the next thing and realize it wasn't that big of a deal it was pretty small anyway so these are things that I, I think you should think about, you know, especially, and I always apply it to, hey, if you are striving to do something different, you're striving to just be in a, a different position in life and whatever it may be, you have to understand like, hey, we, we don't have time. Like we gotta go now, you know, we gotta go now. Or my, I always like to say there's no gatekeeper, so there's nothing stopping us. Let's figure out the way and let's get moving.